All right, here we go. And then you just, nope. <laughs> Hey team, it's Henry and I'm here with Sarah and today we're going to try and learn how to tear a phone book in half. <laughs> it turns out that now phone books are really thin so maybe it's going to be a lot easier. Okay, good, because I haven't been doing much half yet. <laughs> and apparently no one wants phone books anymore so if you ask them for like old ones, they're like, yeah, take a huge box for them. Once you've torn it up, make recycled paper with it. Do you remember in primary school making recycled paper? I do not know if we ever did that. Wow. So apparently, the key is to make a divot in the middle, tear from that divot. I'm trying to make like a channel. Oh, look at you! Oh! oh. This is riveting watching, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go! Oh, look at that! Okay. So, create a think, channel. I think create a channel. Essentially, just the same way as yeah, yeah, how as making this series. You just create a channel. <laughs> so, making a channel. Made a channel. And then from there, you're like gonna tear back on the on the channel that you've made. So you get those fold. See those air bubbles? Yeah. Apparently, it's all about air bubbles. All about air bubbles. Like that. So just... Oh, you did a little bit. Oh, oh, come on. <laughs> That sounded like it was doing something. Floppy didn't work like yeah. hey! <laughs> Things forward to recycle yeah. these bastards now. I'm like, yes! Yes! <laughs> Next we're gonna start ripping them up Ooh. to be in here. How do you think people describe you, Sarah? Oh, caring? Positive? What words would you use to describe you? Oh, I wasn't expecting people to talk back. It feels very one way otherwise. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Magnetic? A bit tall. Do you have any daily practices to maintain your caring nature then? I go through phases. I did go through, and I should reinstate this, um, like gratitude practices. So when I went to bed, I sleep, I would come up with three things that I was grateful for that day. Mm -hmm. And what about what things are you most proud of then? I once got an award for my work as an occupational therapist. Mm -hmm. um, and the award was given to me because I was seen as caring and... Um, wow, so you've had your like values it's been validated. Determined yeah, by absolutely. an award. <laughs> so I still need to get that award for being a bit tall. <laughs> um, I'm pretty proud of my dancing, I think. Mm -hmm. And with work, I'm pretty proud of how I can get people on board. Like I see a lot of grumpy old farmers who don't want to take on recommendations and I can kind of make them see my way eventually. <laughs> so as an OT, do you think you give out much advice or regular practices you think people should try and do more of? Um, sometimes uh, relaxation. Um, at the moment I'm working too with dementia and their carers and stress um, management is really important for carers because they can get really caught up in everything about the person they're looking after and forget about themselves. Mm -hmm. um, and so one that I've been doing a lot of um, is just uh, what's called signal breaths, which is like coming up with a little mantra or something and having a deep breath and saying like a word, like I've got this, or it's okay, or something as they do it out. And they can do that every time something is really frustrating them, but they have to kind of get on with caring for their best. I am um, very good at using a perceived need to help others to hide the fact that I need to stop and help myself. Mm -hmm. Do you have a um, favourite or memorable bit of advice someone's ever given you? Uh, yeah, I do. Um, it's basically, you can't do everything, you need to outsource some things. <laughs> you know, Snappy, yeah, yeah. I think, um, you can imagine that on a bumper plate. <laughs> Just like, Sarah, you can't expect to keep working so hard at your job and also 
have an immaculately clean house and also have really well balanced home cooked meals every night. Like mm. you earn money to spend money, pay someone else to do a bit of it. Yeah, yeah. Um, Take that uh, and scoop them, scoop it through, and then you turn it upside down to one of these. All right, so then I flip it. And then you flip it onto one of these. Yep. And I just put it. Ta -da. Wow. Oh, <laughs> All right, come so on. Let's do one last one. See the big. Uh, Alrighty. <laughs> do you want like it now or do you want me to? Do you want to just turn it that way and we'll leave it over the top? What do you like other people to do for you if you're having trouble or struggling, Sarah? Reduce their expectations, I yeah. think. I think normally socially I'm kind of involved and energetic maybe, but um, it's good when people can realise that I need to be the quiet one. Mm. It kind of feels like this is uh, this is some kind of therapy, like you're visiting me in the nursing home. Yeah, and, and like you no longer can engage in activities, <laughs> but I have to just give you sensory experience. <laughs> oh, What's so we're tearing in half like that. That way, yeah. Oh, okay. Is the idea? <laughs> <laughs> well, that hasn't worked. That's okay. <laughs> I definitely picked the wrong person for this activity. <laughs> Or we were younger and Holloway. The population has gone down recently. <laughs> and what's today, Sarah? Today's my birthday. Yay! <laughs>